Hi, we are continuing our series on finding asymptotes for various equations. Here we've got y equals 2 power x. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, one of them is in quite a lot of detail about these eight equations which will help you, these eight conditions which will help you to plot asymptotes with zero errors. Okay, so let's proceed. The first one is x going to zero plus. So x is a very small number. Let's say I would always take a 0 0.01 to start and y would be 2 power 0 0.01. That would be 1.007. So y is 1.007. Zero, zero, 007. Let's take a little bit of a even smaller number. So what we're doing is we're taking x as 0 0.01 and we plotted this y as 1.007 here and this would be our point here. x is equal to even smaller that would be somewhere here. And then y would be 2 power 0 0.0001, and that would be 1.0000, four zeros and a seven. So you can see as this number increases, y is tending to one. Okay, as this number keeps going here, your y is, your let's say your x for 0 0.0001 here, y would be close to one right here. It kind of makes sense. And that makes sense because y is equal to two power zero will be one. So we've got a line that goes kind of like this. So for x tending to zero plus, y will be one. As we can see here, there's no real asymptote. It's just the root of this equation. There's no real asymptote. As x tends to zero minus, we're gonna see x equals to minus this, and so we got two power minus 0 0.01. It goes to 0.99, and then two power minus 0 0.001 is obviously gonna be 0.999 something because we know two power zero is equal to one, two power zero point zero 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 one was something like one point zero 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 seven. And then as you go on, as this number goes negative, this would go to 0.99. So this, now it's starting to move lower right here. So again, x tending to zero plus, y would go to one plus. And x tending to zero minus, y would go to one minus. But there's no real asymptote, it's just a line. It's going, it's just crossing here and moving up. Now let's see what happens when x, y tending to zero plus. So for y is equal to zero, what would be two power x? As you can imagine, x would be have to be a very, very large negative number. So x would be minus infinity, and only then two power minus infinity would be zero. So we put in x tends to minus infinity here, and that point is right here somewhere, with y going to zero plus and x tending to minus infinity. So that point would be right here somewhere. This would be a, the x coordinate, very, very big number, 10 power six maybe. And this would be a very small number here. And so this would be something here. And then your one, this just zoomed in part, this part here is somewhere here. So it's going, it's kind of going here like this. And so let's look at y tending to zero minus would really have no answer, x would be undefined. One less thing to worry about, because anything raised to x 
will always be positive. And if you're looking at something negative, it's never really going to cross it. It's only keeping on. It's only going to keep on going and touching this this particular axis, this x-axis on the negative side. It's never really going to cross it. Okay, so these are the first four conditions. We're now going to look at these conditions, and it's life is going to be much easier. X tending to zero, x tending to plus infinity, and when x goes to infinity, two power x is going to go to infinity because it just a two power a hundred is going to be two times two times two a hundred times. So that's going to be quite a big number here, and it's going to maybe be plotted here for x is equal to 100 this number is going to be right here somewhere 2 power 100 so that'll be right here this will be the x this will be the y coordinate this will be the x coordinate and as it goes higher it's just gonna just gonna keep on moving up so as x tends to plus infinity y is going to plus infinity as well and it's actually going faster so if it were going at the same rate, we would have a straight line here of the type y equals to x plus c of some sort, and the slope would be 1. But right now we see it's actually going faster. And hence, the slope of this curve would be a bit more steeper. Extending to minus infinity right here, y is going to be 0. We already found that out using this logic. Extending to infinity was this situation right here we found out when y is going to be zero so x tending to minus infinity y is going to be just close to plus zero plus so y tends to zero plus y tending to plus infinity is just exactly this situation y tending to plus infinity right here would be when y is going to infinity up here, x has to increase. So x would go to plus infinity. And y tending to minus infinity is somewhere in this region. And of course, we know the exponents are always limited to the positive side of y. So there would be no x here. X would be undefined. So x would be undefined here. And those are our eight conditions. And you can see these were so easy to calculate once we have the first four. And this is our graph. This is our asymptote right here. Remember, this is not really an asymptote because it's just keeping on exploding. As x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. But here, y is actually tending to zero. So this would be the asymptote right here.